In this video, I'm going to be going through one example of logarithmic differentiation. Uh, basically, there are five steps that you need to memorize to do logarithmic differentiation. The first step would be to take the natural log of both sides. Second step would be to simplify using your log rules. Third one is you're going to take the derivative by using implicit differentiation. Fourth one, you would want to solve for y prime. And then the last step, you would want to substitute y back into your equation. All right, now, um, looking at this particular um, function right here, technically, yes, I could do the quotient rule, but the quotient rule could end up being a little bit more messy. All right, so you're going to want to apply logarithmic differentiation when it could possibly make it an easier derivative to find. All right, that's a really good impl implementation of logarithmic differentiation. So, um, in this scenario, I am going to <clears throat> replace my f of x here with a y. All right, so I can take the natural log of both sides. I'm going to use the natural log of y on this side because I'm going to replace that there. So I'm going to have the natural log of y equals the natural log of this quotient, so 3x squared plus 5 to the 4th, all over cosine x. All right, step two says to simplify using my log rules. So over here, I have <clears throat> a compressed log showing a quotient. So through log rules, I know that I can rewrite this and expand it using subtraction. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have the natural log of y equals, subtracting these two, I will have the natural log, 3x squared plus 5 to the fourth, minus the natural log of cosine x. All right, now I'm going to continue to simplify with log rules because I have a 4 up here that can be brought down in front. So natural log of y equals 4. Natural log 3x squared plus 5 minus that natural log cosine x. Okay, now that pretty much is all the simplifying that I can do with my log rules. All right, now third step says to take the derivative using implicit differentiation. All right, so hopefully you remember how to take the derivative of a natural log function. Formula is u prime over u. You're going to let that inside part be u. All right, so I can real quickly take the derivative there. I can take the quick, quickly derivative there, derivative of y there. I can do really easily here. So this natural log of y, when I take the derivative, will be y prime over y, so that's u prime over u because my u is y. All right, I'm going to leave the 4 sitting right there. Now, u prime over u, so derivative of that inside function would be a 6x over the u on the bottom, 3x squared plus 5 minus derivative of the inside here, derivative of cosine would be minus sine, and then all over u, keeping that u the same. Excuse me. Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit of simplifying here. I've got a minus and a negative, so I can turn this to a plus. I'm going to go ahead and multiply that numerator right there. So then I'm going to have a y prime over y equals a 24x all over 3x squared plus 5. Change this to a plus. And then sine x over cosine x. Okay. And now, at this point, um, I probably, I mean, if I could reduce that, I might. This um, is pretty commonly known um, as tangent, so I could do a simplification there. I think I'm going to have to add some more paper here because I'm running out of room. Okay, so I think, you know, this is tangent. I think I am going to go ahead and do a little bit more substituting here. So y prime over y equals 24x over that 3x squared plus 5, and then I'm going to change that to a tangent. If we can do a simple substitution like that, we might as well do that. All right, now I think I am to step 4, which is solve for y prime. My y prime is over here, so that means I need to get rid of y. I'm going to multiply both sides by y. So y prime equals 24x over that 3x squared plus 5 plus tangent x. All right, and then this entire thing times y, okay, because I multiplied both sides by y, so it would cross out. All right, and then the last step, substitute y back in. Okay, so let's go back all the way back up to the original problem up here. 
if I changed this f of x, which I did, so if I changed that f of x really to a y, all right, then I'm substituting y back in, so I'm going to substitute this original equation back in for my y. So then y prime is equal to 24x over 3x squared plus 5 plus tangent x. And then plugging that back in, 3x squared plus 5 to the fourth all over that cosine x. All right, now depending on your teacher, all right, um, Sometimes, if this is something that can easily be simplified, then I will have my students do it. Otherwise, um, I generally let my students stop at this point because when I get down here, if this part is correct and I have saw that they have substituted y back in, then I know that they have went through the five steps um, of logarithmic differentiation and are correct up to that point. So depending on your individual teacher or professor, uh, you might have to simplify this answer a little bit farther. Okay, but you know that if, once you get down to here, you have completed the five steps for logarithmic differentiation. So um, definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.